By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to create a numerical input for your password text box and be able to check whether or not a PIN is correct or not. Let's get started. Welcome back to another Thunkable tutorial. My name is Donal and in this one we're continuing on from our password text box app in the last video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And we're going to add in a pin checking app. So the password text box, we looked at all the properties here um, and there's no way to restrict the user to only typing in numbers. In order to do that, we need the text box component. So we're basically going to do a swap here. We're going to add in text box one and we're going to delete out then password text box one. It'll ask us then, do we want to delete this component and all the blocks? We'll click OK. And the same thing here, we'll do check password. So for text box one, um, text box one, let me change this here to pin checker instead, because I've been giving away the AIA files recently. And if you stick around to the end of the video, you'll be able to get the um, AIA file for the pin checker as well. Uh, now, so text box one, uh, by default, um, the font is 14. So let's make that a tiny bit bigger, make it easy for you to see. And the hint says hint for text box one. So we'll change that to, you know, type your pin here, something like that. And in order to restrict it to numerical input only, we're going to choose this numbers only property here. Um, Okay, so once we've added in our design elements like this, if we've got live testing open, we can uh, check out what it looks like. So type your pin here. When we click on the text box, once we have the numbers only property checked, we can only type in numbers like so. They're not um, grayed out. They're not obscured or uh, transfer transformed into dots in the same way as the password text box, but um, we'll do the same sort of uh, principle, let's say, the same sort of idea as we did with the last app. And so if we open up our blocks editor, these are the blocks we had from the uh, previous application. What we'll do here is we'll change it from my password to my pin. So you go and uh, create a variable. Let's delete everything altogether, I suppose, and start again from scratch. Um, we'll create a variable here. We'll call it my pin. And again, data stored like this isn't secure, it isn't encrypted, so you wouldn't want to store anybody's uh, top secret password in here. What we'll do then is that when the button is clicked, that's when we'll do our password checking. And if the password is right, we'll tell them, well done, they got the password correct. Otherwise, what we'll do is we'll tell them that um, the password is wrong or that they need to try again. So we'll set it up with an if else uh, statement. So if is the default shape, clicking on the blue mutator, the blue little gear wheel there allows us to change the shape by dragging and dropping. If we put in the wrong block by mistake, it's very easy then just to drag everything over to the left that deletes them and we can change the, uh, the block around like that. Uh, okay, so we want to check if my pin is equal to um, automatically equal to, although you can use any equals block you like. Um, we'll use text box one dot text all the way down here. If they are, we'll give them a little message in screen one. We'll set the screen one title to be correct or well done or matching pin. You can write in whatever you want here into a string. So correct pin. And then what we can do is if they're not matching, if they're not the same, what we can do is we can tell them that they've got the wrong pin. And then what I like to do, nice kind of um, improvement to the UX is to clear out this text box afterwards. So let's have a look at it. We can go ahead, type in a pin. Let's type in any old number here, check our text box. It tells us the wrong pin. Because we haven't cleared it out, now the user has to go and delete their old pin. And if we type in one, two, three, four, we get the correct pin like this. Um, so as I was saying, what we'll do is when we're finished typing something into text box one, uh, it's a nice idea to go and clear out the old text like this by setting text box one dot text property just to be an empty string. So we can see the password checker still works. Okay, we've got the correct pin. We can put in an incorrect pin. So now it means if you put in an incorrect pin, it's much easier then to type in the correct pin in the end. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, here's the link, as I promised, 
the AIA file for this uh, tutorial for this pin pin pad I suppose um, thanks a million for watching if you like these resources and you find them useful click on the like button if you want to learn more don't forget to click on subscribe and if you have any questions as per usual please leave them down in the comments I really enjoy reading your comments and uh, we'll do my best to help you out whenever I can thanks a million for watching see you in the next video and keep on thinking